my time to shine. Dogs on it. Thought they were having a lot of fun, dipping it off to each other. The dunks were happening, just a good time. And welcome inside beautiful Callahan Hall in Detroit, where this afternoon we've got a dandy of a battle between the best two girls programs of the CHSL Bishop Division this year. I'm with Evan Stockton. Glad to be with you, partner, for a doubleheader today. The boys will play after this. An exciting matchup between Father Gabriel Richard out of Ann Arbor, undefeated 19-0, number one in the state of Michigan, against the Lady Irish of Toledo Central Catholic making a splash already in football and now in basketball. Your thoughts on this matchup? Well, first off, when we start with the Lady Irish, I think it's awesome that in the first year of this partnership between the Ohio schools and the established Michigan schools in the Catholic League, that we do have one of the Ohio schools here. And these Lady Irish of Toledo Central Catholic are not to be slept on because between Cornia Clay and Brooklyn Vaughn, they have two Division I caliber players in their lineup. Brooklyn Vaughn is committed to go play at Loyola Chicago, and Cornia has multiple options in her future and oh by the way when they played this father Gabriel Richard team earlier this year the coaching staff told us they maybe played their worst game of the year so they have motivation coming into this game and then when we look at the other side of things Chad for father Gabriel Richard this is a girls basketball team we have heard a lot about all winter they haven't lost yet they're 19 and 0 they're maybe the best Division II girls basketball team in the state. They're certainly one of the top 10 best, regardless of division. The question mark for them is their two stud sophomore twins, Vanessa and Ava Rodriguez, who have battled through some injuries recently. Remember, Ava missed all of last year because she had an injury to her ACL. Ava didn't play last game in that win over Mercy in the semifinals. We do think she's going to play, but if Toledo Central Catholic is going to spring an upset and beat this undefeated team, it may be because Father Gabriel Richard has a lot of girls who are not 100% right now. A lot of info, all good insight. These two teams are going to go at it, and, and this is uh, also, we want to tell everybody, this is presented by Pure Bar Novi and Success Mortgage Partners, our presenting sponsor of the Catholic League Championship Week. You saw the starters on the uh, screen there. Tim Kane is the head coach in his fifth year for Father Gabriel Richard. And for the Lady Irish, it's Terry Mernon in his first year. But this is a 73 grad of Toledo Central Catholic. And uh, he is the acting head coach for the current head coach, Corey Stanley. We'll get into why she's not coaching later. It's a good story and a sad story, and we'll bring it to you. But for now, it's basketball time, Evan. Uh, give us some of the strengths that we can expect to see on each side for both ball clubs. So the strength for Father Gabriel Richard, which is weird because they don't have a single senior who starts, is their poison control. They play beyond their years. They're a very experienced team. But today they are going to have a challenge with that number 44 in the gray and red for Toledo Central Catholic. Brooklyn Vaughn is one of the best girls basketball players that school has ever had. She's one of the best athletes the school has ever had. And uh, I don't need to remind anyone watching this game, there's been a lot of good athletes that have gone through that school. So it's going to be fun to watch 44 work today, for sure. All right. 44 will tip it up. The Loyola Chicago commit. And it's won by the Irish. And here comes Vanessa Rodriguez, one half of the Rodriguez twins and two of the best players on this club. Back out high to the left to Cora Williams. Right block, power layup pass, and lucky to scoot out to Charlotte Miller, the Irish's best player. Left wing three, Splash City. That's Ava Rodriguez. Was she going to play? You betcha. And she's looking just fine, Evan. 
And then on the other end, nice drive by Clay, kind of what we were going back to, right? If Toledo Central Catholic is going to win, it's because they're just flat bigger. But as Ava just did, who cares how tall you are? If you can shoot it like that, you can hit it from the parking lot. That's right. It's a uh, offense that can beat you in many ways, including in the paint. Cora Williams, a track and field star in her own right, an all-stater has a three-point lead for the Irish. Well, that's exactly it for Gabriel Richard, right? The fact that their leading score is 13 per game. What does that mean? Balanced scoring. Yes, the Rodriguez twins grab the headlines, but really anyone can beat you on that team. 15-footer lean in no, and that's a rip-off rebound. Sage Edmondson, whose brother Tyson plays at Lake Superior State, rips that down, and here come the Irish leading by three. It's the Irish against the Fighting Irish, or the Lady Irish. You call them what you want. I'm not going to tell you what to call them. Brooklyn Vaughn, right wing three, short, off the head of somebody, and gathered by Vanessa Rodriguez. Throw ahead, lay in to her twin. No. Just plain got too deep underneath the basket. Brooklyn Vaughn can go coast to coast. She can get her own misses and get rewarded. And that's one of the best players in the state of Ohio right there. And that's why she's headed to Loyola Chicago. And Evan, it's a lot more than just the physical skill for Brooklyn Vaughn. I mean, she's the tallest player on the court and she just nearly took it coast to coast. That is going to be an enticing thing for Loyola Rambler fans to have on their women's basketball team going forward. But that's not a good early sign for Gabriel Richard that Brooklyn got coast to coast like that. No, got a stop ball. The Irish with an early good sign, and Ava Rodriguez, who is questionable to play today. She is playing. And her twin sister, Vanessa, has the basketball. Left to right against some pressure. Open, dead spot right, in and out, no. And the rebound pulled off by Vaughn as she's fouled by Williams. Good luck, though, by Charlotte Miller, defender for Toledo Central Catholic, fell down. Lucky break for the Lady Irish that, that didn't go in for Gabriel Richard. Shooting will be a big factor in this game, Chad. Central Catholic told us that they just shot it terribly in the last game between these two teams. Team that likes to rely on the three ball, the Lady Irish, patient so far. Throw ahead, nearly picked, but completed to Vanessa Rodriguez, rip, drive, lay in, good over the big. How about it? That's Vanessa Rodriguez, the 10th grader, and is she good? It amazes me. Every time I watch basketball, the smallest player on the court is the most fearless. Vanessa is listed at 5'5". She's not, but she's been all over the court. The twin guard will pick up Ava Petrus, who's checked in the sophomore. Dribble drive, and that is a tie-up. Tim Kane loves it. The arrow will remain this way with the Lady Irish. Great job. Miller sees that ball low on Bolden's drive, and that's how you're taught. Hey, just stick your mitts in there and create the tie-up. Fortunate break for the Lady Irish that that arrow kept it working. Right corner, and that's a walk. Travel on their second-best scorer, Cornia Clay, who scored a bucket already in this game. The only bucket in this game for the Lady Irish. You can tell what each coach is thinking based on the subs, right? Gabriel Richard just brought Fredericks off the bench, one of their best bigs off the bench. What does that tell you? They are concerned by the advantage that Toledo Central Catholic has inside. Turnover forced here. Alone top of the circle, it's Ferugia. Right baseline spin, Ferugia from 16, heel no. And Sage Edmondson, the Ann Arbor Huron transfer, left to right. It's good offense, though. It was all set up by Vaughn, establishing post position for that open elbow jumper. Edmondson on the baseline in trouble, no problem. Low pass scooped up by Veronica Fredericks before it's ripped away by Vaughn. Vaughn on the run, coast to coast. Kick right wing three, splash city. That's Ava Petrus, the three-point specialist. And Tim Kane wants timeout in venerable Callahan Hall. Brooklyn Vaughn does this. Two defenders on her, someone's got to be open. Good start for Toledo Central Catholic trying to knock off one of the best in the state. What rhymes with great?
great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> That's Terry Mernon doing God's work, stepping in this year to coach. It wasn't an empty cupboard. 22-2 and two last year before they were disqualified by the state of Ohio for violations. Right wing three, splash city. That's Charlotte Miller. That's the Division I prospect, and she's silky smooth from the long line. You cannot leave her that open. That's one of the best shooters in the state, and she's had two clean looks like that all day. Miller puts up 10.2 a game. That's a turnover on the Lady Irish. That's Bolden who shuffled the shoes. And the turnover tally right now, pretty even, 3-2. to two In favor of the Irish, if you call it a favor. It's always something to watch in girls basketball, specifically at the high school level. The turnover numbers will be elevated just by the style of play. So it is important, whoever can handle the ball better, much better shot to win. Rodriguez can handle the ball, gets a shot up two through contact, and will go line right and shoot free throws for the Irish of Ann Arbor father Gabriel Richard. If you were just watching that and you had to guess who's the senior, you'd think, oh, one and White's the senior, right? No, that was four, Cornia Clay, the senior for Central Catholic who committed the foul. And what is so interesting about this Gabriel Richard team, you know, we asked their coaching staff point blank before this game, are you guys a year ahead of schedule because no senior starts? They said, well, no. I mean, all the players who play this year also played last year, and we were really good last year. <laughs> so this is a really uh, deceiving team because, yeah, they're sophomores and juniors, but they really look like seniors out there. Experienced on the court, and that matters most. Right now it's a double-up job by the girls from Ann Arbor. 12-6 in the lead against the Toledo Central Catholic Fighting Irish, or Lady Irish. Cornia Clay, very quick off the bounce. She's got her match with Rodriguez tonight. The Big Vaughn headed to Loyola, Chicago. Nowhere to go, walled up. How about the defense, man-to-man -man by the Irish, Evan? Cora Williams working darn hard down there. It's tough to single team Brooklyn Vaughn and good offense there as well later on in the possession. Knocking down shots. That again is Clay, her second bucket of the game, and it cuts it to four. If I'm Central Catholic, I need a little bit more from number four, Clay, because clearly Gabriel Richard focusing on Vaughn. How about that dish? And the Sharon of the Sugar, that's Miller to Williams for her second bucket. What a combo that is. And oh, by the way, that balanced scoring for Gabriel Richard that we've talked about is proven true. When you look at the stat sheet so far, Chad Rodriguez, four, the other Rodriguez, three, Miller, three, Williams, four. They really are a balanced bunch out there. Proving that early on with 2.10 to go in the first quarter, just underway. It's the Bishop Championship as we visit with Vic Michaels at halftime. And he will talk about the Bishop Championship having boys and girls the same day for the first time. How about that play? Yeah, that's a really nice finish by Williams on the Division I bound player, Vaughn, who has asserted herself in terms of the rebound department, already snagged a couple of rebounds for Central Catholic, but just the one point, and I'd be feeling the pressure right now if I'm the Lady Irish because Gabriel Richard on a nice little run here. Richard has bumped this lead up to their largest right now of seven with 2.06 to go. The Lady Irish will check in. Marissa Justin, a three-point specialist, another sophomore on a sophomore dominant team. Seniors and sophomores for Terry Mernon. 14 and six on the year is Toledo Central Catholic in their first year in the Detroit CHSL. Free throws are both good for the Division I prospect, Ava Rodriguez. The fearless leader, just a sophomore. Clay gives it up to Ferugia. Back to Clay. Southpaw jumper is silky smooth. Nothing but nylon. And how about it? 
six points for Clay. She keeps hitting those shots, Chad. The defense extends for Gabriel Richard, and finally Central Catholic can get Brooklyn Vaughn established. He's got to make keep making those shots. Clay does. Good point. Rodriguez with six to lead the way for the Irish. That shot is blocked. Vaughn swatted the shot from Edmondson, and she's on the run. They told you, Evan did, she can go coast to coast comfortably. Timeout, Terry Mernon smells blood in the water, and we'll take it with him. 121 to go. The girls from Ann Arbor. Father, Gabriel Richard, plus six over the gals from Toledo. Back to Detroit and Callahan Hall after this. My time to shine, he took over. That will put some gauze on it. It's all they were having a lot of fun, dipping it off to each other. The dunks were happening, just a good time. Back to Terry Mernon in his first year, but it's not his first rodeo. And he's the acting head coach for Corey Stanley. And uh, this guy is doing God's work. Went to Adrian College for a couple years. And he's a grad, a 73 at Toledo Central Catholic, doing great work with these girls this year. And oh, by the way, his brother is one of the radio broadcasters. It really is a family affair, the Mernons at Toledo Central Catholic. Yeah, Mike Mernon, a 67 grad of Toledo Central Catholic, doing color today. The Lady Irish to the right elbow with their top player, Vaughn, the senior, now on the perimeter. Pivots, shoots. Got her own miss and scores. And Brooklyn Vaughn, tough to contain. She cuts it to four with under a minute to go. She's athletic as heck, man. She's done that a couple of times today. A center, a five, in name only. That's the evolution of basketball. Your center is also your best athlete. All alone for three. Rodriguez says, don't give me time and space. Splash City. That's Veronica Fredericks, rather. Who was that? That was Rodriguez, but okay. the, the thing there was, which was weird, Vaughn sagged off, wasn't quite sure, and Rodriguez was all alone. Nice job by Brooklyn on the other end drawing that foul. Vaughn on the attack, trying to take over. Another look at this triple by Rodriguez. Ava, and she's been on point tonight, was a question mark if she would even play. One thing that Brooklyn Vaughn will get better at when she gets to the collegiate level is free throws, Chad. She just hasn't been very good at it. 48% this season. And she has already missed a couple of free throws so far in this game today. And just missed another one. Chased down in the corner by Edmondson. And the difference in this ball game right now is free throws. One of three for the Lady Irish. Four of four for Father Gabriel Richard. Step into a three short offensive rebound, Edmondson, but the buzzer sounds. And that's it and that's all in the first. We got a dandy. But it's Father Gabriel Richard by a touchdown in Detroit over Toledo Central Catholic as we head to the second quarter. Carol Wolfbauer is next. We're the prep. My time to shine, he took over. He got it, splash! And that will put some gauze on it. I saw they were having a lot of fun, dipping it off to each other, the dunks were happening, just a good time. Father Gabriel Richard by seven. Let's go down to the third member of our crew, Carol Wolfbauer, on that baseline. Carol, what's going on? Thanks, Chad. What a wonderful introduction. Yes, welcome down with us back here on the prep. Now, you might see Terry Murden on the sideline with Toledo Central Catholic tonight, but he's actually coming in so far so for Corey Stanley, who's actually the head coach of the Central Catholic team. Now, Corey Stanley originally took her son into the doctors this past year and found out he had lymphoma. And even despite all the battles she's had to take him through this year, she still manages to help out with the team and help with any scouting of the opponents. But blessings to her and her son as they battle through this together. And we'll send it back up to you guys. Yeah, thank you very much, Kara. It's a story of support, love, community. And uh, Colton Strong is the motto 
As the four-year-old son, Colton, Colton has lymphoma cancer and is battling in remission. Corey Stanley, the head coach, has understandably taken time away. And Terry Mernon has stepped in and has said, this season is dedicated. We've dedicated this season to Colton and Corey Stanley and the entire Stanley family. And uh, our thoughts, hopes, and prayers are also with Colton and the entire Stanley family. You know, Chad, when things like that happen, it reminds you that we are blessed to A, work in sports, and B, we are blessed to often not remember that uh, real life things go on. And the beauty of sports is that it can help you get through those real life things. In case Coach Stanley's watching, we're thinking about you, we're praying for your entire family, and wishing all the best to your son and all your extended family's health going forward. Absolutely. Missed shot the other way. Meanwhile, Gabriel Richard has bumped their lead up to 10 on that three-pointer. Rodriguez can't get it to go. Bodies flying everywhere, getting physical. Clay comes away with it. You get the feeling here that the Lady Irish need a bucket on this trip before things get out of whack for them already. And then when you further kind of extrapolate that, right, you're thinking, okay, where do we go to get that basket? And coming into this game, you go, okay, we got to go to Brooklyn Vaughn, right? Well, just three points, and she's been kind of frustrated. If I'm Central Catholic, I'm really running the offense through four, Cornia Clay, six points, and a bunch of silky smooth jumpers already. I think that's the key for them getting back in it. Shooting just 38% in this game, thanks to that sticky Father Gabriel Richard defense, man-to-man, -man, college style. Coach Tim Kane says, we adapt. We adapt to what the other team does. We might change our style a little bit. And we got to travel in a turnover. It's the third of the game for the Lady Irish. And a chance for Father Gabriel Richard to build upon this lead even further. Put yourselves in Central Catholic shoes here, right? You already lost to this team by 17 points earlier this season. It'd be human nature to go, we're down by double digits again? That's why exactly to your point, Central Catholic has got to hang tough here. Can't let this thing keep getting out of hand. Corner three, Rodriguez trying to get it out of hand. And she's got another trifecta. How about it? The run via the three. Evan, they can beat you so many ways. Vanessa Rodriguez, smallest player on the court, one of the biggest hearts on that court. 12 points already. That's her season average already. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. That's Tim Kane in his fifth year. Had a great club last year as well, and he's going to have a couple more years with a core of his team. Fifth season as head coach, but the tenth season on varsity. He's also been at Willow Run and Dexter. He's a Celine 92 grad, and he went down to Kentucky for his uh, undergrad, and he's a teacher in the Ann Arbor schools. Doing a great job. Yeah, he really is. You bring up the experience coaching boys. We actually asked him. Okay, is there any difference between girls and boys? He said, well, I used to think you had to build girls up and boys, you kind of had to break them down. Now I realized, eh, they're all the same. They're all basketball players. I'd be doing a disservice if I treated my ladies any different than I treat the boys. I like that, honest. And hey, look, not everybody would guess that answer, but unless you've coached both, you really don't know. How about this extra effort? And uh, Sophia Ferrugia will get to the line and get rewarded. A lot of time to go for Toledo Central Catholic. The worst thing they can do is panic, but they do need to find some answers because right now Gabriel Richard, A, they're shooting the lights out from three, and a big reason why they're shooting the lights out from three, Chad, I don't think they've shot a contested three all game. No, they haven't. It's been packed that paint, but it's been an empty line. You're right. That's a turnover, and that's ball pressure by the Irish that forces it off the leg of Miller. The junior, top scorer on the team. Excuse me, second top scorer on the team. Vanessa Rodriguez leads with 13 points a game. 
Rip drive Vaughn. Bowling her way in and finds the hole off the glass. Fine move by the future Loyola Chicago. Good offense beats better defense in basketball. That was great defense by Williams. She can't do anything else there. Just better job by Brooklyn. Too powerful. Does it all. Need a stop if you're the Toledo club. Second chance opportunity. And right there's Cora Williams to lay it in. The Huron transfer has bumped that lead back up to 11. I don't mean to be so blunt. That's unacceptable for Central Catholic. At Williams, there was no one within three feet of her as she grabbed that. That's just way too easy, and that's an effort play on one end and a lack of it on the other. Yep. Near steal, a gamble by Rodriguez, and another travel by the Irish. That's a turnover. So that's the third travel on Clay. What does that tell you? The defense for Gabriel Richard is so swarmy, so airtight, so close, that Clay is seeing ghosts. And she's taking extra steps, and she keeps turning the ball over. I saw ghosts last night, I think, in Rochester. I'll ask you the follow-up during the commercial break. I don't want to ask you on the air. <laughs> this is the Catholic <laughs> League Finals, after all. Oh, boy. Topside Rodriguez, blow by, hot knife through butter. Off the window, no. Vaughn on the run, leading the break. Clay collects, and a four out. Long three. Too strong, but a quick, confident trigger by Ava Petrus, who's already stuck one. If I'm Gabriel Richard, I'm totally cool with that shot, and I'm also totally cool with that drive. Just got to make that layup. The blow by unrewarded. How about the spin by Vaughn, the spin cycle? And a tough luck blocking foul. That'll go on the Irish's Veronica Fredericks, the senior at 5'11". That's the athleticism for Vaughn that can get you in foul trouble. That's a couple of fouls now for Gabriel Richard. They've been okay in terms of the foul trouble. That is one way Central Catholic can get back in it, of course. Yep. Irish trying to find a way for points. Trying to keep the possession moving. Nina Stevens into the paint. And that's a fine floater by Ferrugia, who's had four of the last six points for the Toledo Central Catholic fighting Irish. Dish out by Miller into the paint now. Left block, feed. Rodriguez laying good off the feed from Bethy Benz right off that bench with a fresh feed. I mean, it's so much fun to watch her play, and it's so much fun to watch great drives like that. We got the two smallest players on the court making plays on both ends. The athletes showing out right now in Callahan Hall, home of the Detroit Mercy Titans, who bagged their first win this week. Rodriguez, no, sent to the deck. But Vanessa will go line right. How about that win this past week? Yeah, big win for the Titans. A one-man court storm. That's right. The rally. Was that Kara Wolfbauer that stormed the court? I, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't check. I'll have to go check the tape. Okay. In spirit, she says. Shot up and good. Ten-point lead. This is uh, not the largest for Richard, but... What's the key for Central Catholic to try to halt this momentum with 3.22 to go and get back in this game? Get it to single digits. you got to find a way to get Brooklyn Vaughn comfortable. I know she's had a couple of buckets. I know she's had a couple of nice plays. 44 looks really confused and frustrated. You've got to get her feeling better if Central Catholic can get back in this ballgame. She does there by trying to go to the post and draws the foul. And that is the fifth team foul or fourth. One more, and it'll be a two-shot penalty. No more one-and-ones. In fact, that was the fifth, evidently, and we are going to the free throw line. Long day of basketball here at Callahan Hall. You had the boys playing earlier against the mighty Mastodons of Purdue, Fort Wayne, Paris of the Midwest. And now we've got the girls and boys Catholic League Finals. So I, I, I applaud the efforts of everyone here who is probably working triple duty tonight. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. We appreciate the fact that we're even here. Sophia Farugia, F-A-R-R-U-G-I-A. -R -R the senior forward nets them both with the clock stopped. She has six. 
And it's now a uh, nine-point game. <laughs> Offensive foul. That's a moving screen, and that's going on Veronica Fredericks. What happened? Well, apparently she was moving, but I'm going to stick up for Veronica. I think her feet were set. Nope, that's a good call. She stuck her right knee out, as usual. The officials know more than I do. Good job, guys. <laughs> just kind of stuck that right leg out just a little too much. Just a little bit. But Nothing your... nefarious, but a little bit. Yeah. Kick out. Vaughn finds Stevens. No, another Ferrugia offensive rebound. Can't find the hole. And clear out by Charlotte Miller. And here come the Irish left to right. Oof. Nasty crossover. Rodriguez to the hole. Missed the shot strong. We've seen a few of those this quarter. Yeah, you wonder with the lingering injury for Ava Weather when she gets down deep like that, she's still a little bit wary. That was a heck of a crossover, though. Sick. Knees just fine. Eight points. Clay leads the way. Dishes to the high post, and we get another reach in. And the Irish will go to the line again. As the bonus continues, that's now 16 fouls. This is one of those games where if you've been watching it all the time like we have, and you didn't know the score, you think, oh, Gabriel Richard's up by like 12 points, right? Well, no. I mean, look at the scoreboard. It's an eight-point game, and if I'm Toledo Central Catholic, I'm thinking, okay, we're playing a really good team. We're in the thick of the fight. We can get this thing down to five, six points by halftime. We're good. Just got to keep this thing going. And Evan, if you take away the three-point percent, I mean, five of seven is what the Irish are from downtown. That's 72%. Uh, the Fighting Irish of Toledo Central Catholic are one of six. I mean, that's been a big part of this game. It's probably not going to continue for Father Gabriel Richard, you'd think? Well, the key for Central Catholic is just stopping Gabriel Richard from getting really good looks. Like right there, a couple of contested shots, and now you got to grab a rebound, which they finally do. Two shots from Williams, Brooklyn Vaughn, Walled him up both times and got nothing. A stop. And Vaughn has it here in a big possession with 100 seconds to go in this half. Vaughn to the paint. Force up banker. No. Guess who has her back? Missed the shot. Got her own miss. And how about Clay for three? Splash City. Sophia Ferrugia set that all up. Two offensive rebounds. She's been the best player for Central Catholic tonight. Her effort has been outstanding. Really has. The seniors showing out in Callahan. There's a steal, but a lost ball by Clay. But how about the run? Toledo Central Catholic back in it, down by just five, Evan. And think about from Gabriel Richard's perspective. They're probably thinking in the back of their minds, how are we only up by five right now? Yeah. We're shooting 70% from three. 7-0 run. It started with some stops by the gals from Toledo. There's another one, but an offensive rebound. And Williams will reset to Rodriguez. To her twin, baseline floater, Law. And how about the run out by Vaughn? Spin, lay in, good! And the Irish have cut it to three with 38 seconds left in the half. 9-0 run. Gabriel Richard's got to take a breath. Central Catholic has got them in the pace that the Lady Irish want to play. How about that show and go by Miller? The feed to the right block, and that rim has been mean. 19 seconds left. Throw ahead. That's Dempsey. Kick out three to tie it. No. That's not a good shot. I get it. You're rolling. 9 0 run. So much time left on the clock. You can't take that shot. Yeah, and you don't want Father Gabriel Richard to get another shot. Edmondson, and that's whistled. That's an offensive foul. We'll get another look at it. But the Irish of Ann Arbor Gabriel Richard starting to fall apart, Evan. They are. That's the second time they've done that. That's the right call. You cannot stick your knee out like that. That's a foul. Great job by our officials. 2.9 seconds left. Ball out of bounds on the sideline. You got to hustle for the Irish, and you can't get a steal. Rodriguez at the horn with a pick six. And what a momentum shift. It's a five-point lead. It was once 12, but how about it, Evan? That play by Rodriguez says it all. That's a killer. That's an absolute killer if you're Central Catholic because all the momentum you had is gone 
What a play by Rodriguez. Sophomore name only making the play. And that is one of those baskets. It counts for two. It may as well be 20. The difference between a three-point game and a five-point game at halftime in a championship game, massive. No doubt. 33 to 28. A five-point lead. And uh, we'll take a quick timeout. And we'll come back with some stats and highlights and much more. We got a game. What was once a dozen is no longer that. It's a couple possessions in Detroit. Back in a moment. In today's ever-changing mortgage lending world, the importance of true professionals has never been greater. At Success Mortgage Partners, we want you to have the experience of a lifetime. Founded and owned by Catholic League alumni, our family-centered business keeps your interest at heart as we help you navigate this turbulent market with ease. If you or a family member has a mortgage need, please call me, Owen Lee, at 734-822-9792. If you are looking for a life-changing workout experience, look no further than Pure Bar Novi. We are proud to help you achieve your fitness goals while joining a vibrant, supportive community that is over 300 women strong. Our classes are designed to strengthen and tone your entire body, and our teachers can help provide modifications for any fitness level. Find out more right now by calling 248-596-0002, visiting our website, following us on social media, or by coming to our studio right on Grand River Avenue in Novi. We can't wait to see you and help you achieve your fitness goals. Welcome back to Callahan Hall. We're here with the director of the Catholic League, Vic Michaels. Vic, an exciting day of basketball with the Bishop Championships uh, going on. We've got the Toledo Central Catholic Club making it to the finals against Father Gabriel Richard, who's having a historic season in this game. Uh, couldn't ask for a better mix of a first game here on Championship Saturday. Now we're excited about it. It's the first time we've had uh, both boys and girls play their finals at the same time uh, because of the Ohio State Tournament. We had to move our girls, um, our larger division girls, Central Division girls, up one week. Uh, and let them play at the same time as our Central boys. Um, we think it's a great night. We've got, I think, maybe the best girls basketball team in the state, and Father Gabriel Richard, certainly one of the top couple. And I definitely think we have the best boys basketball team in the state playing tonight in uh, St. Mary's of Orchard Lake. So look forward to it. This league is regarded as not just one of the best in the state. That's kind of a given. Uh, the Midwest people talk about how much pride does that give you and your organization that things are going well for the CHSL? We take a lot of pride in it, um, not just in basketball, but we feel kind of the same way in football a lot of years. Someone gave me some ridiculous stat uh, at last week's games, like 55 and 3 or something. Mm. Our, our teams are against out, out of Central Division opponents mm -hmm. i mean that's incredible uh, from top to bottom how strong that league is with the boys um and our girls uh with the addition of the toledo schools that's made that girls league very very competitive so i'm looking forward to seeing two good games tonight i'm glad we're back at callahan um this is our place we've been here holding our championships since um some say in the late 50s. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny, we were, we were going through some photos the other day, and this place was smoke-filled for a high school <laughs> game. Everybody in the stands was smoking, you know. Um, but it's been a long time that we've been here, and we really enjoy it, and they're good to us. An exciting day today, and it doesn't end. I know next week is the Cardinal Championship uh, right here, I believe, at Callahan Hall, right? So next week, again, uh, something new. We have, um, we'll have our our Cardinal Division boys champion, our St. Anne Division, I'm sorry, girls champion, our Cardinal mm -hmm. Division girls, our St. Anne Division, which is we created that this year, a third champion in both our boys and girls divisions. And then we're following that up with uh, two Operation Friendship games. Awesome. So we're going to play four games here next Saturday. Um, I think they're going to be great games again. Uh, those friendship games, 
like last year with Cass and Brother Rice. Uh, great game, overtime game. I think we're going to see more of that next week too. So looking forward to it. What's the future of this league? There's been so much growth since you've been a part of it. Uh, what's next and what's exciting for folks out there to maybe get behind and rally about the future of the CHSL that's already been quite fun to be a part of? Well, you know, we, we, start, we added the uh, five schools from Toledo this year and one from Jackson, and that has been a big success for us. Uh, they're very competitive in our best divisions. Uh, they won in the, in the fall. They, you know, they won a number of our championships, football, uh, golf. Uh, they're, they're good, good schools, faith-based, similar um, to what many of our schools are. And uh, we look forward to continuing to work on some of the difficulties we had with them. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the rules in Ohio are a little bit different than some of the rules in Michigan. So we've got to iron out a few things. Um, but from what I'm hearing, especially from our Toledo friends now, that they're, they're happy to be in our league. Uh, my schools are happy to have them in the league. Um, and I was worried with some of the travel, but I think as long as I-75 stays open, um, southbound and northbound we're, we're going to be better off with them in our league so it's been fun to have teams from ohio in this league and see how they compete against michigan teams and vice versa do you foresee that expanding into other states or other areas ever or even another country <laughs> another country um we we've had some conversation with uh you know th there are four schools in the diocese of lansing and two of them are in our league Father Gabe Richard, and now Jackson Lumen Christie. There's two other ones, um, Flint Powers and Lansing Catholic. Mm -hmm. I think eventually they would be a great fit for us. Uh, they'd be kind of a natural fit to be in our league. Um, but, you know, we'll see how that goes uh, in the coming years. But we're excited that we're up to 33 or so teams now, and uh, it's uh, very competitive. Thanks for letting us be a part of today and the greatest league in the state of Michigan. It's great to be well, here. I and, think uh, I'm on like the greatest the streaming <laughs> sports show in the state of Michigan, too. You guys do a phenomenal job. You Thanks. wouldn't know you're watching uh, a high school game when, when, when I'm watching the prep. So Appreciate that. Good. We appreciate the opportunity. Good luck today and next week, and thanks for making this league special. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. You bet. That's Vic Michaels. The director of the Catholic League. We've got Catholic League basketball continuing here in the second half. Father Gabriel Richard and Toledo Central Catholic. The second half coming up next right here on the prep. Thanks for watching. Does your bank make you feel like you belong there? At Alliance Catholic Credit Union, you are a member of a financial institution that serves the Catholic community, providing you with an opportunity to align your banking with your Catholic identity. You receive all the products and services you need to manage your money, and your membership helps support Catholic schools, parishes, and organizations. It's time to put your money where your faith is. Visit AllianceCatholic.com to get started today. Service. Community. Catholic. Alliance Catholic Credit Union. Federally insured by the NCUA. Hi, I'm Nick Deponio, and this is HVAC. Dipping it off to each other. And 
dunks were happening, just a good time. Lowering the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! My time to shine. He took over. He got it! Splash! And that will put some gauze on it. Thought they were having a lot of fun, dipping it off to each other. The dunks were happening, just a good time. Father Gabriel Richard in the lead by five. Evan, what should we know about that first half? What we should know is that Toledo Central Catholic, after a slow start, had the ball down by three late in the first half, but a steal and a bucket for Vanessa Rodriguez turned her from a three-point game to a five-point game at the break. So I am fascinated to see if Central Catholic can continue the momentum to start this second half because for large chunks of the first half, Gabriel Richard looked exactly like a team that hasn't lost yet this year. Yeah, the lead was all the way up to 13 with six and a half to go in the second quarter. And then the run, and they're back in this thing, but it could have been even closer, as you mentioned. A big momentum shifting play. The end of the half and a big momentum shifting play at the beginning of the half as they get Cora Williams loose for some more juice and a lay-in. I mean, that is the team personified for Gabriel Richard. Anyone can make a highlight play. Williams the beneficiary of the Miller great pass and now good defense from Gabriel Richard. Williams with eight points now. That's sticky defense by the Irish. Mainly man-to-man. -man. They'll throw a little zone now and again. Rodriguez with a basketball. Ava, 13 points by her twin sister who has the rock top side. Patient offense is set for the Irish against man to man and it forces a turnover too tall for Edmondson and it goes back to Toledo CC. If I'm Central Catholic, I'm still sitting here going, we're okay. We still haven't played great. Gabriel Richard's a good team, we're okay. Just take a deep breath, realize there's darn near the entire second half to go, and utilize Ferrugia, who has the ball. She's been really good. One of those gritty players that's kept possessions alive. Count them four offensive rebounds in the first half. Throws it away here, though. Picked off. Rodriguez on the run. They'll never get her with that fresh Euro step. Timeout called. The Lady Irish's head coach, Terry Mernon, wants timeout in Detroit. We'll take it with him. Richard on a run, a 4 nothing run to open the half. Rodriguez on the run. We've said it a lot tonight, and we'll say it again. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 300,000 participants here in Michigan who take part in high school sports. Father Gabriel Richard, they used to be known as uh, Ann Arbor Gabriel Richard. They've thrown in all these other things and I think they're great and we should talk about them, but it's Father Gabriel Richard, 19-0, 11-0, the number one team in Division II, Evan Stockton. And some think that they may be just the best team in Michigan on some nights. Yeah, and it's so remarkable studying them, watching them, because they don't have a senior starter. But it is the balance, it is the players who play beyond their years, which make them such a tough out in this Catholic League tournament and will make them such a tough out when it comes to the state tournament. Shot is short. Miss, nine point lead. Rodriguez into the post. Edmondson spin, travel, no call, and they will call it the second time. A shuffle of the shoes and a turnover. And a chance now for the Lady Irish to make some money. Chad, remember how we said at the end of the half when that Rodriguez steal in basket, two points, felt a lot bigger than just the two points? 
Toledo Central Catholic has not scored since that turnover and basket at the end of the first half. Impactful. Around the perimeter, this is their high major prospect and signee. Jump shot, wing, Ferrugia, no. And here come the Irish looking to gain a double-digit lead. Again, that lead was up to 13 in the second quarter. Cora is short with her shot. A rarity tonight on the run. Watch out, Brooklyn Vaughn. And they force her into a miss and corral that rock. Some people would like that drive for Brooklyn. I don't because she's done that a few times tonight and you can tell she's pressing. She wants to make something happen. Utilize your teammates because the game's getting away from you. Totally agree. If they're going to win this game, she's got to get others involved and to feel the fire of that basketball. Because guess what? When you drive, that means someone must be open. Yep. Take a breath, you know what I mean? Always such a tricky dilemma for a star player. When do I take it upon myself? I'm the, I'm the girl. I'm the guy. Dish left block. Cora couldn't hang on. She flips it over. And this is Clay on the run. Crossover sick. Down the avenue. Lay it good of the foul. That's Cornia Clay with a cat quick move and a finish through a foul. That was sweet. Shake one defender, shake another defender, get the reach in, count that thing, and a foul. Man, that was pretty darn good from Clay. She took it upon herself there. That's maybe the other player you need to see some points out of, some production on the offense. Meanwhile, Ann Arbor father gave her a shard, Evan. I mean, they've got to counter themselves here. Yeah, I mean, again, it feels like it should be more than nine, but it's still just a nine-point game. If I'm Gabriel Richard, put this thing away. Go up by 15. I'm not messing around going into the fourth. That's a rip drive and a miss by Charlotte Miller. Division one, division two prospect. She's on the cusp, getting a lot of interest. The Irish have had maybe five of those. That, that could have been 50-50 balls, I say. Could have rolled in, could have popped out, and they've all popped out. Toledo Central Catholic doesn't care much about that. They just need a bucket. Knocked away by Edmondson's active quick hands and TCC resets. Awesome defense there by Gabriel Richard. Clay wanted to shoot, no room. And a pass inside to Vaughn, got tipped. Airtight play from Gabriel Richard defensively. In the paint, shot up and good. That's Brooklyn Vaughn's first point to the second half. Couldn't have come at a better time. It cuts it to seven. Again, just a seven point game, coming up on three and a half to go. Third quarter, a lot of time. Rodriguez missed it, it rolled off the rim. Can Vaughn take it coast to coast? She does, but kicks. And this time, Ferrugia couldn't save it. I like that decision, though, that time from Vaughn. Yeah. That's what we were just talking about, right? When you drive, someone must be open. That's a good look for three. It's fair. Ava Rodriguez kicks left block. Fortuitous hop to the corner to her teammate, and we got a whistle and a foul, and uh, the head coach, Tim Kane in his fifth year, <laughs> says finally. He was not happy at the end of that first half the way his team Gave up that big 13-point lead. Yeah, wasn't happy about that. Also been frustrated by some of the officiating calls here in this third quarter so far. Gabriel Richard, Chad, goes to the bench. They actually initially went small. Now they'll get 24 Williams back out there with Fredericks. Both these teams unafraid to sub through today. Ball to bounce, what a play to Cora for the lay-in. But note the feed and the sharing of the sugar from Charlotte. Williams with 10, Rodriguez double figures. The other Rodriguez coming up on double figures. It is that balanced attack. Swooping her way in and Vaughn nearly got an and one. She'll get rewarded line right with her team down nine with under three to go in the third. Here's a look at this play. Oh, so close. That is the third foul on Cora Williams. Note that. Williams, who's been so productive 
not just on the offensive end as the second leading scorer with 10 points, but also four rebounds. And she's been a force defensively in that post, protecting the rim. Yeah, and now Brooklyn Vaughn, whose numbers are starting to creep up, 11 points, eight rebounds. Those numbers could get bigger, and that deficit could get slimmer here. Splits the pair does Brooklyn Vaughn, a 1,000 career point scorer on Tuesday in the semifinal win over Farmington Hills Mercy. Congratulations to her. Coach Terry Murden talks about how humble she is, so hardworking. Give and go, left hand laying, no. Rodriguez couldn't get it to go. And Tim Kane's down there talking to himself. Left hand laying good, hot knife through butter, Cornia Clay. 2C coming alive, it's a six point game. She has 15. Rodriguez left hand looper, guess what? It bounced out again. Cora can't get it back, but she does get the foul and Brooklyn Vaughn doesn't love the call. I'm telling you, Toledo Central Catholic only down by six, but they're getting lucky if we're just being honest about it. Gabriel Richard, the last three trips down the floor has blown laps. They've had three great looks like that. Credit to Central Catholic for converting on the other end, but that quickness, that passing, that versatility for Gabriel Richard keeps leading to really good looks, and they'll start making them eventually. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pass nearly picked, a collision, and watch out. Picked off by Vaughn, coast to coast. Three teammates, takes it herself, and it's loose. And Ann Harbor father, Gabe Richard, comes up with it after a three-on-one didn't score. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Brooklyn Vaughn, we've talked about this so far today. Three-on-one, you need to pass that ball. There's been a couple of times that happened. You hate to be so blunt, but that's a blown opportunity. While we've got a moment, let's go to Kara Wolfbauer on that baseline. Kara, what do you got for us? Thanks, Chad. I even heard Evan talk about it a couple times, and it seems like there's more of a point differential right now in this game, even less than it is right now with the six-point game. Well, Terry Merton had the same exact thing to say to his girls. He said that it doesn't even feel like we're getting close to matching the physicality from Gabriel Richard right now, and that they're not countering the attack that they came in with, and these leads to these timeouts right now. Send back up to you guys in the booth. Good point, Kara. Yeah, that's exactly it. Central Catholic, if you really have been watching this game and sit back and go, well, they're not mastering their physicality. Brooklyn Vaughn, I know the numbers have been up, but there have been some instances where it feels like she's trying to do it all herself when she doesn't have to do it all herself. Six point game, Central Catholic, I'm feeling okay. We just need that push to the finish line. It's simply for Gabriel Richard, Keep doing what you're doing. You're getting good looks. Don't let Central Catholic take you out what has been working all year. That's exactly what they just did. Ferugia can't finish. Oh, the lids here at Callahan are mean on this Saturday night. Coast to coast, and guess what happened? What is going on? Brooklyn Vaughn pushes ahead. Open for three, Justin. No, offensive rebound, Justin will try it again. No, Ferugia on the deck, tie up and it's going the other way. The Irish of Ann Arbor dodge a bullet there. Yeah, they do because Sophia Ferugia has been all over the court tonight. It feels weird to say someone with only six points has been the team's best player. Sophia has been the team's best player. Every loose ball, she's there in the midst of that scrum, grabbing the basketball. She has created opportunities like that all night. Big reason why they're in this game. She's been the X factor. I like the Irish's jerseys both ways, but the Toledo club, the nice Jordans. That's an offensive foul. That shot wasn't gonna matter either way. What do they have here? That's the fourth, I believe, on Williamson, if it is on Cora. <laughs> It is. Yeah, they called an off-ball foul. That's big, right? We, we talk about what's one of the best things that Central Catholic does, Brooklyn Vaughn down low. Now you got one of the starting bigs, one of their best bigs, Williams, on the bench for the foreseeable future with four fouls. If I'm Central Catholic, I'm starting to smell blood in the water a little bit. I smell what's cooking down there, the turnover. You know, the Irish, Father Gabriel Richard, I can't just say the Irish, I should know that by now. 
uh, they just took their first three-pointer in like a quarter and a half. They were five of seven from three. What great discipline to know to back off that three ball. It's like we've talked about all night, right? It's a team that I know they don't have any senior starters. They have a lot of coaches on the floor. You don't usually see plays like just happen, unforced errors. Pressure defense, active hands and feet, something that Terry Mernon talked about. Loves that 1-3-1 one, one zone and trap that we haven't seen a lot of. He said, this is not the team you want to trap and force to get loose and have an odd man advantage with Rodriguez. She's a press breaker herself. Vaughn drives kicks. It's a six point game. Pull up Jay. No, stick back. Guess who? Ferugia again. Getting grimy on the glass and she'll get rewarded line right. I'm telling you, if Central Catholic comes back and wins this game, I don't know if the G of the game committee listens to my vote, but my vote goes to Sophia Ferugia. She has been all over the place. Maybe Pat can dig up for us how many offensive rebounds it's been for Sophia. That's at least four or five. Yeah, we'll see if Pat the stat coming back off sabbatical can find that. Well, she has seven points and seven rebounds. At least three of them have been offensive rebounds. How about Jamo? Welcome back for Jamie Janssen, who was on the DL for a minute. Glad she's feeling better and with us. Pat was on sabbatical. Meanwhile, two free throws are down. It's a four-point game, eight points for Ferugia, your favorite player so far. She's been outstanding. Rodriguez with a floater that falls at the buzzer of the third quarter. And that ends another quarter with the fighting Irish field goal that helps propel him to the fourth. It should have been a three-point game going into halftime. Should have been four going into the fourth, but twice Vanessa Rodriguez has been breaking Central Catholic's hearts. My time to shine, he took over. He got it, splash! And that will put some gauze on it. We saw they were having a lot of fun, dipping it off to each other. The dunks were happening, just a good time. Welcome back to Callahan. Some call it the home of Kara Wolfbauer. Let's go down sidelines to Kara now. Thanks, Chad. Used to be the home of Kara Wolfbauer. Now, you guys have already seen the dynamic duo of the Rodriguez twins, but talked to Tim Kane earlier, and he said actually when he was a coach back at Dexter, coaching the men's team, they had three different courts there, and he'd hear little dribbles behind his back. Turned around, what do you know? It was the Rodriguez twins with their dad, Julio, teaching them as little girls, doing double hand dribbles through the legs, moving those balls. He said they always have a spot on my court. Comes to fruition today. You see that dynamic duo out there right now. Send it back to you guys. Good stuff, Kara. And yes, you can always come home. This is always your court. Evan, uh, good piece there on the Rodriguez's from Kara. This is a family tradition. How cool is it to have a twin on the team and two of the best players? Well, my favorite thing about it is they score so much. They're so prolific. We have a hard time knowing which Rodriguez twins scored today. I love it. <laughs> well, there's one in 11, which yes. makes it even tougher. It's right. You know, one of them couldn't be 40. You know, no. they had to be one. And 11. And they both have hair that has covered up one other numbers or two at a time. So, yeah, it's been a challenge. But and, and, they also and they're wear, twins. And, and they wear the same color sneakers, both pink. Yep. There is a knee brace, though, that is noticeable on Ava Rodriguez. So noticeable, I'm just noticing it. Rip, drive, right block, and a foul. That's a non-shooting foul. And it's team foul number one in this opening 30 seconds of the final fourth quarter. If I'm Toledo Central Catholic, my goal is to keep this at six or get it to four, three by the under four. That's all I'm thinking about right now. I just have to give myself a fighting chance because you know Gabriel Richard is gonna start burning clock. Yep. What a save there. A stop, a stuff, and a save, and back the other way, Vaughn scores it through the spin cycle. And the Fighting Irish are within four points. Best day, best play of the game for Brooklyn. On the drive, the spin, and the hanger. Central Catholic alive. Rodriguez to the corner to Bethy Benz, who's off that bench. Kick back, Vanessa Rodriguez for three. Splash City, give her 20 points, and her fourth three of the game. 
Gabriel Richard, a ton of made threes in the first half, coming alive in the second half. Ferrugia, again, she's been remarkable. They cannot contain two on that offensive glass. Been a paint monster, Sophia Ferrugia. 10 points, eight rebounds. She averages four and a half points per game on the year. What a night. Stepping up in this Bishop Championship game. Glad to have it for you on the prep. It's presented by Pure Bar Novi and Success Mortgage Partners. We thank our sponsors and special presenting sponsors for this great week of CHSL Championship Basketball. Started on Tuesday with the semis. Left wing three, Splash City. Ava Rodriguez. And here comes Richard back to their old tricks with a long ball. Unlimited range out there. Glasser no good, cleaned up by Fredericks. And here come the Irish of Ann Arbor. Father gave Richard looking to put this to double digits. You know they're looking for another clean look. That was a nifty get up that somehow got through from Vanessa. Brooklyn Vaughn, the future blur or Rambler of Loyola Chicago, gives it up to the hot southpaw hand of CC Clay. And we got a timeout on the floor. And what went wrong? Wet spot on the court, maybe? That's a good guess. I think you're right. It's a heck of a jumper, though. I'm not just saying this because, you know, I, I golf lefty, and I was a lefty swinger in baseball, and I shoot left in hockey. Don't things just look better coming out of a lefty's hand? Always. Or foot. Yeah. Lefty kickers are just better than righty kickers. Yeah. It must be nice. JMO's a lefty. You're surrounded by lefties. They're great people. Hope you I feel love at home. Yeah, I love it. My wife's a lefty, too. Offensive foul that's going the other way. We digress. It's a six-point game, however. And the Fighting Irish just sticking around. It's a nine-point game. They get a three. Hanging around with five minutes left. Anybody's game still. You feel that way? Yeah, I don't believe they've led since it was 2-0, but they're still in this thing. Yep. Hook shot runner Brooklyn Vaughn. And on the north side of Chicago, they've got a treasure coming by way of Toledo CC. If I'm Gabriel Richard right now, I'm not getting rattled. I know it's close. Don't do anything silly. Bodies bang, no call. Left wing three, Rodriguez with a splash city. And it pumps that lead out to seven with four and a half to go. Vanessa Rodriguez has 26 points. Get out of here. Left wing corner, answer three, no. Guess who, off it's a rebound, stick back, no. Fight for it by Vaughn, and she's fouled going up. And the girls from Toledo are remaining gritty. Man, I'm going to come away from this game thinking two things. One, Gabriel Richard's an awesome team. Rodriguez is a heck of a player. Vanessa and her twin, Ava. I mean, Vanessa, come on now. A little bit of space and a rainbow that's down. What a remarkable performance. But I'm also going to take away from this game that Toledo Central Catholic, spurred on by the story of their head coach and, and what her young son is dealing with, these ladies don't give up the entire game. It's been a treat to cover both of these teams. This is a really fun basketball game. Really has been so much talent on both sides. And as you said, different storylines make this a real competitive game. But missed free throws here. Clock stop, didn't score. Charlotte Miller turns it over. Steal by Ferrugia. Left elbow, rip, drive, right hand laying good. And she's really starting to heat up. Tied for the team high now in points. That's Brooklyn Vaughn, the six foot senior, and the Loyola Chicago commit. Here we go again. Back down to a five point game. Every time it's been this close, Gabriel Richard goes to number one, Vanessa Rodriguez. Four of four from downtown for Vanessa Rodriguez. That's her twin sister and she turns it over, picked off. Brooklyn Vaughn on the run, and she's fouled before the turnover. 
That will go on number 11, Ava Rodriguez. And here's another look. That bucket. It's not just a size advantage, it's an athleticism advantage. When Brooklyn gets downhill, you're not going to stop her. So agile as well. She lost it off her toe here. Picked off Vanessa Rodriguez. A three to stay perfect. Splash City! Five for five! 29 points for number one, Vanessa Rodriguez, the sophomore. If college coaches aren't paying attention to her, they should. I don't care how tall she is. She has 29 points. This is silly. Every high school sporting event in the state of Michigan has one thing in common, officials. Every game, every meet, every match. Without officials, there'd be no touchdowns. No three-pointers, no face-offs. Without officials, there'd be no games. Officiating is a great way to give back to your community and stay involved with the sports you love. And officials are needed now more than ever because without officials, it's just practice. The Toledo Central Catholic Irish, first year in the Detroit Catholic League. So glad to have them. They've won seven league titles. And uh, you might recall Courtney Mix. She's, she played for uh, Villanova. What a career she had. And Courtney Mix is the daughter of Steve Mix, former NBA or Detroit Piston, former Philadelphia 76er color analyst, and proud Toledo Rocket. A lot of outstanding athletes have rolled through this Toledo Central Catholic athletic office and uh, halls at that school over the years. Another great team, excited to have the Ohio representation as part of our Catholic League finals here today. And they play pretty well overall. I mean, Vaughn and Clay and Ferrugia have put up a really three-headed monster, but Vanessa Rodriguez on the other end has just been stupid good for Gabriel Richard. Really has, so is Brooklyn Vaughn in this fourth quarter, really coming alive. That's a shot that Terry Mernon thought was deflected, and that's just out of bounds. Terry Mernon wanted an explanation from the near side official. No matter what, that was really good defense by Charlotte Miller, airtight on Stevens. By the way, your officials, Nicole Randolph, William Pugh, and Luke Reggio, shot in the paint, no, off it's a rebound, her twin sister had her back, and it's a reset for Ava Rodriguez. Don't forget we'll have our G of the game after this one. Shot up, good, and the foul. Sage, Edmondson, and one. Height advantage driving on Ferrugia. A slight height advantage, but a height advantage nonetheless. Athleticism as well. And off to the line. So many ways this team can beat you. Sage putting up eight points a game. Two shots. I said the and one. It's two shots. She didn't make that. I'm seeing things again. You still seeing those ghosts from last night? <laughs> Sometimes. First point of the game for Edmondson. He's got 100 rebounds now on the year. Nine point game, this feels like a critical possession. 100%. Don't rush it if you're Central Catholic. Ferrugia's done so much tonight. Can't get that one to fall with 2.03 to go. And the gals from Ann Arbor up by nine. So now we get into that game within a game because we don't have a shot clock yet in Michigan high school basketball. When does Central Catholic start fouling? I'd start fouling sooner rather than later, to be honest with you. Just two team fouls, so they're going to have to foul three more times, to your point. Like, go foul her now, right? Why are you wasting time? Just go foul her. Yeah. you got to get to the bonus. Or get a trap. At least she risks fouling. But you can't stop or contain Ava Rodriguez. How about it? The blow by the hoop and the harm. And another look. If the uh, Division II teams in this state of Michigan weren't having nightmares about the Rodriguez twins, I think they're going to watch back this tape and go, oh, brother, they're pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, even Ava Rodriguez, who her sister Vanessa has grabbed the headlines today, 
Not only the nine points for Ava, but she's played really good defense on both ends of the floor. Man, they're a problem. They sure are. And uh, this right now with 90 seconds left. Richard up by a dozen. Clay to the bucket. No, and a foul over the back to add insult to injury. That'll go on Brooklyn Vaughn. It's a great drive to the rim, though, by Clay. And if this score holds, Central Catholic's going to fall, but I don't want them to be discouraged by this performance, all right? They played really well. Clay, Ferrugia, Vaughn all had their moments. He just ran into someone in Vanessa Rodriguez who literally did not miss in this game. Perfect from the free throw line. Perfect from behind the three-point line. One woman buzzsaw. Hard to see anybody in Division II knocking this team off, but Grand Rapids West Catholic will have something to say about it. They're the number two ranked team in the state of Michigan in Division II. Detroit Edison, also a problem in Division II. Nogany, Goodrich, Frankenmuth, some others. But this night belongs to Father Gabriel Richard of Ann Arbor with under a minute to go. And the hot potato passing in the clinic before our very eyes by Tim Kane's girls. And this is great practice for all the games they're going to play over the next month, over the next three weeks. You are going to be in scenarios like this. You're going to play a team like Central Catholic, which gave you their best effort. You're going to have to kill clock. You're going to have to make shots. I, I echo what you just said. It's going to be very, very hard for someone to beat this, grand, this Gabriel Richard team. I don't care how young they are. They're really, really good. They are. The future is bright for both clubs. Just two seniors on this Father Gabriel Richard roster. Fredericks and Benz, both contributors, but not in the top five in scoring on the team. Free throw up and good. That Charlotte Miller, who is their second leading scorer on the year with 10 points a game. She hasn't needed to really be the lead scorer tonight, but she has nine. And the lead now is its largest as the shot is off the mark. And Toledo CC will keep it for one final time, perhaps. That's where I feel bad, too, at the end of this game, right? People are going to see the final score and see that Gabriel Richard won by double digits. Central Catholic played their tails off. Great effort against a really good team, just kind of ballooned at the end of it. We want to give our friends at JJ's, Jimmy John's, a freaky fast shout-out for the great food today. Jimmy John's at Campus Martius in downtown Detroit, who fed our crew tonight. Always fresh, always fast and delicious. The Tomey Group has 45 Jimmy John locations in and around Metro Detroit, and they never disappoint. Thank you for the delicious sandwiches today in Detroit as the Irish will dribble out their largest lead of the night. It wasn't always easy. Evan, this was a, what, two-point game in the closing seconds of the first half. But Father Gabriel Richard proving why they're considered the top team in the state of Michigan in Division II. Congratulations to Father Gabriel Richard of Ann Arbor the Bishop Champions of the Detroit Catholic League presented by Pure Bar Novi and Success Mortgage Partners. Those ladies in white and green are gonna play a lot of important basketball games over the next month. Today was just the first of a lot of them and I am really impressed. I know Vanessa Rodriguez was awesome. I have to imagine she'll be our G of the game. But when you look down the roster, the balance they got, the fact that they never got rattled even when Toledo Central Catholic was giving them their best push, is a really impressive basketball team out there on the court right now. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back with our G of the game. Kara Wolfbauer standing by. We're back in a moment to Callahan Hall. Father Gabriel Richard wins it by 14. In today's ever-changing mortgage lending world, the importance of true professionals has never been greater. At Success Mortgage Partners, we want you to have the experience of a lifetime. Founded and owned by Catholic League alumni, our family-centered business keeps your interest at heart as we help you navigate this turbulent market with ease. If you or a family member has a mortgage need, please call me, Owen Lee, at 734 
1-800-242-9792. From an ordinary idea comes a great journey. It all starts with a simple thought, a vision of something bigger, greater than what already exists. It's that spark that ignites the passion and drive to create something truly amazing. At G-Brand, we understand this journey well. We take pride in the details and perfecting every aspect of the process, regardless of how small or big they may be. Because it's more than just a design or a shirt. It's about outfitting future champions. There's something to be said about a team coming together each member contributing their unique skills, talents, and ideas. It's that collective effort that takes a simple idea and turns it into something truly great. The process can be excruciating, with countless hours spent tirelessly reviewing every detail. Welcome back to Callahan Hall. The winning head coach of Father Gabriel Richard is standing by with Carol Wolfbauer Take it away, Kara. Thanks, Chad. Now alongside the head coach of Gabriel Richard, Tim Kane. Now, Tim, great game out there tonight. Just take us through what went well for you guys today. I, I think we, uh, the best decision I made was we put the ball in Vanessa's hand. And we said, hey, you get the next three possessions. And she took about the next 10, and she just she was on fire. So we, we preached all year, hit the hot hand, and uh, tonight was her. Her Say, yeah, she was electric tonight, but especially coming off, Ava wasn't here with you guys last game. Tell me about that duo. How do you think it fires up each girl's game when they come in together? So we play for each other. Like, they're twins, they're sisters, but we're family here, so we all play for each other. Like, all of us play for all of us. So, like, there's we're 11 deep right now, and, and to me, it's a family atmosphere, so we just play for each other. And you guys have more basketball to come. Talk about that heading forward. What's the what's the talk to the girls in the locker room? You're undefeated right now. Well, uh, we have five fingers, we want five trophies. So we are down one down and we have four to go. Well, congrats, Coach. Head back to Chad. Thanks so much, Kara. Congratulations to the head coach, Tim Kane, in his fifth year bagging the Catholic League Bishop title. Evan, this was a game that we mentioned was tighter earlier. What happened with, for Father Gabriel Richard? How were they able to pull away when it was a four-point game? Well, the easy answer would be Vanessa Rodriguez couldn't miss, and yes, she was awesome. But really, the, the bigger picture was Gabriel Richard was getting really good looks the whole game. There was even that portion in the third quarter where Toledo Central Catholic got within four, five, six points, but it's because Gabriel Richard missed three, three straight layups. And they were getting really good looks throughout this game. And yes, you're going to see a lot of highlights from number one, Vanessa Rodriguez. There's one of a whole heck of a lot of them in this game. But it really is the balance for Gabriel Richard, which is what we spoke about at the beginning and now we speak about at the end of this broadcast. Vanessa with the 29, but her twin Ava with nine points. Charlotte Miller had 10. Cora Williams had 10. And it's not just the score on the team. It's the balance. It's the fact that they can roll seven, eight, nine deep in their lineup, get a little bit of everything from everybody on that roster, whether it be on the offensive end or the defensive end. And Toledo Central Catholic, to their credit, really played well in this game. Cornia Clay had 17. Brooklyn Vaughn, another double-double. Sophia Ferrugia, 10 points, nine rebounds, nearly a double-double. It was just too much from Gabriel Richard, a team that you would never know when you watch them, doesn't have a single senior starter. They really are a good ball club. Did not hurt that they shot 9 of 12 from downtown, an unheard of three-point accuracy percentage. That always helps. We know Vanessa Rodriguez was a big part of it, but what a luxury to have not just the outside shooting, but the inside presence we saw also uh, with Cora Williams and company. Yeah, that's going to be a big thing for them going forward. It's, it's like using a baseball analogy of pitcher. Do you have multiple pitches that can get guys out? If your fastball isn't working that day, how about the curveball? If the curveball doesn't work, how about the changeup? Well, if you're Gabriel or Richard, if one of the Rodriguez twins isn't playing well, maybe the other one isn't playing well. Okay, they're not playing so great. Let's go to Charlotte Miller. Okay, we can't hit an outside shot. Inside we go to Cora Williams. That's what makes really good sports teams. That's what specifically makes a great basketball team. Can I beat you in multiple ways? Gabriel Burchard can beat you in multiple ways. What do the Lady Irish of Toledo Central Catholic have to look forward to in their Ohio High School Athletic Association tournament? Well, I think what they have to look forward to is, look, we played a really tough schedule. We just played in the Catholic League Championship, one of the best teams in Michigan, and we were darn close in the fourth quarter. And oh, by the way, we have two players in Vaughn and Clay who are Division I caliber. Brooklyn Vaughn is a walking double-double out there. 
So this team has the best things ahead of them. They just need efforts like what they got from Sofia Ferrugia tonight, those 10 points and nine rebounds. They need that continually going forward in the playoffs because the scouting report of the teams that will play them in the postseason is, let's stop 44 and make somebody else beat us. 29 for Vanessa Rodriguez, our G of the game. We'll talk to momentarily. Three others in double figures, as Evan mentioned, and the 75% from downtown, 9 of 12 for Father Gabriel Richard to win this game. Meanwhile, Toledo Central Catholic gets 17 and 11 by Brooklyn Vaughn, who Evan claimed a walking double-double, and that's because the averages show that that's what she does. So 17 and 11, a big number, tied for the team high in points with uh, Cornia Clay, who had 17 in this game, and uh, 10 points, nine rebounds for Sophia Ferrugia. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll come back with our G of the game. The champions of the Catholic League and the Bishop Division are residing in Ann Arbor tonight. Father Gabriel Richard, 61, Toledo Central Catholic, 47. We're back with a G right after this. If you are looking for a life-changing workout experience, look no further than Pure Bar Novi. We are proud to help you achieve your fitness goals while joining a vibrant, supportive community that is over 300 women strong. Our classes are designed to strengthen and tone your entire body, and our teachers can help provide modifications for any fitness level. Find out more right now by calling 248-596-0002, visiting our website, following us on social media, or by coming to our studio right on Grand River Avenue in Novi. We can't wait to see you and help you achieve your fitness goals. Valley Athletic Complex, where dreams, passion, and hard work create success. Welcome back to Callahan Hall. This game is in the books. Time now for our G of the Game. Standing by Kara Wolfbauer with our G of the Game, Vanessa Rodriguez. Kara? Thanks, Chad. Yes, our G of the Game today presented by G Brands USA. Obviously, Vanessa Rodriguez putting away 29 points tonight. Now, first, Vanessa, just tell me, how does it feel to be on a college court and put that many points up here today? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, it feels great, and I think it's all just hard work and all the dedication I've put into the gym, and it's paid off. Tell me, too, about the girls. The, the girls you spent every day without on the court, how does that family develop throughout the season, especially here today? Yeah, I think from the beginning of the season to now, we have really grown, and just coming into practice every day and working really hard and just watching film, we've gotten a lot better, and I love them so much. Yes, well, congratulations. I told her I can't wait to see her and her sister a, a duo in college someday. Well, once again, congratulations. Chad, Evan, let's hear from you. Thank you very much, Kara. Congratulations again to our G of the game, Vanessa Rodriguez. Five of five from downtown, four of four from the free throw line, and a well-deserved G of the game. That's it for game one. Thanks so much for being a part of it. Thanks for watching. Once again, your final score tonight in game one, the champion of the Bishop Championship in the Catholic League, Father Gabriel Richard, 61, Toledo Central Catholic, 47. Stick around, Brother Rice and number one Orchard Lake St. Mary's are next for the boys' Bishop title. For the hardworking crew led by Alex Westfall, my name's Chad Bush. We thank Evan Stockton on color commentary and Kara Wolfbauer on sidelines. We're coming right back from Callahan Hall right after this. Thanks for watching. We're the Prep.